So will it be just boys in your charitable institution or girls as well? Both. You must avoid them. You know how the little creatures can get. One of your people, you said they'd be here by five. They're a law unto themselves. You can never quite grasp who they are. Like gripping wet soap. I've done my research. Um, perhaps you know them as the uh, Economic League. Only once did I get a letter from them headed the Vigilance Committee, which tips the hand a little. Nope. The name I've heard is Section D. That's what Special Branch calls them. The businessmen, MPs, army officers. Yes, it'll be fun to bring such men to a gypsy scrapyard. <laughs> you ask for privacy. Well, since the election, the government has decided that we are the enemy. When all we are trying to do is save the country from revolution. Are you political, Mr. Shelby? Because these odd fellows believe that the time is coming soon when everyone must choose a side. Are your people coming or are they not coming? Mr. Shelby, you will learn that these men are far too grand for the clock to govern them. You'll get used to meeting in the small hours of the morning. They're like monks. So when is your charitable institute opening? <sighs> when I fucking say. Well, I'll stop by from time to time. Hear confession from the little creatures. You'll meet Mr. Patrick Jarvis, MP. You'll probably want to become a trustee. It's just his thing to drop by in the evenings after a few drinks. We'll make it a formal arrangement as part of the bigger deal between us. I will have an office there. <clears throat> My God, some devil gets into you, doesn't it, boy? Mr. Shelby, if I want to play the squire in your place of false charity, then I will. Ambition for respectability doesn't make you a saint. Am I wrong? My Lord, that six is it. Well, I wish you a good day. Fuck you, God. Did I not make it clear? He said if they weren't here by morning prayers, then the meeting has been cancelled. Perhaps uh, Mr. Jarvis has been held up at the House of Commons. Perhaps Admiral Hall's been held up at the House of Lords. Am I impressing you? Or perhaps they've decided they don't care for doing business with gypsies in scrap metal yards, which would be a poor outcome for you. You give him a message for me, priest. You tell him I've been to the factories and the armored vehicles are in good condition. How many? 27. And the foreman is ours. This is someone you will meet today at the Ritz. I have meetings today. You have one meeting, this one, in London. So you'd best catch the milk train. 